Revolution after revolution, that's how London's underground system runs so smoothly. Not much room for improvement, you'll think, until first you study the old methods before seeing the biggest revolution of all, a press button foolproof control desk. For example, here is Arthur Toy. He's been a signalman for four years. Calmly, efficiently, he performs his duties, but note the distance between controls and telephone. Is his journey really necessary? Isn't there a more compact system? Note too the brawn needed as well as brains for this work. Over to the new. The train of thought's the same, but in Britain this system's unique. 500 trains a day are guided through a complicated system of 50 signals and points by a wonder electric brain. A system whose merits you can shout from the rooftop. Robert Geary could press all those buttons at the same time if he wanted to, just for fun. There'd be no danger of a collision, but Geary is not the man to go off the tracks anyway. He too has been a signalman for four years, and you can see that from his ever watchful eyes. The control desk can also plan routes in advance. It's indeed a signal honor to our railway engineers. Microphone and loudspeaker replace telephone so that the signalman is free to manipulate the controls all the time. The 43 transparent plastic buttons, they glow red, yellow or green, need only fingertip pressure. In the unlikely event of the system breaking down, there are these emergency signals operated either by hand or automatically. In the relay room, you need to be a bit of a live wire yourself to cope with all those power signal lines. It's a relief for signalman Geary when stationmaster William Neal arrives. A few words of explanation are enough. The controls tell the rest of the story. Just for a moment, time on his hands. Yes, everything is perfectly timed here, even to that nice cup of tea.